Well, that's weird. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Nice melody. That was Pepper weird, tea. as Sean likes to say. That, that was, was really, weird. That was weird. Hi, Jill. Hi, Kathy. Hey, everyone. Lizzie, hi. How is it going? Welcome to the show. I'm going to fix our camera. Do you want to go back to What's the that? thumbnail? What's wrong with that, wrong with that one? Um, You're not going to be able crooked. to see it. You, you won't see it. No, it's actually, look at the straight line right up here. It's straight across. It's oh, not It's not the bottom. It's, gotcha. it's the way this is. On okay. The well, I don't like it. Hello, Elizabeth, Jamie, hello, Joanne, hello. Can we um, zoom in then maybe just a Hola. Yeah, sure. It's making, my, um, lose it's making me a little cuckoo. Like, <laughs> I lose. like it. Oops. Right there. But we're okay. going to be like at max minimal headroom. <laughs> that's okay. We can move it back a little. I just, or push it up. I just don't want to see it. I know, I know that's stupid of me, but it's just, it's the way I, my mind works, peeps. No. All right. Hey everyone, welcome um, to our live. Say hello. So a couple of things before we get going. Um, if there is any issues on Facebook, I did give you the YouTube link so you can easily jump over to YouTube and watch it there. Mm -hmm. um, we found out why we were getting double comments. We also found out some issues on Facebook, so things hopefully are Better. Yes. All right. So um, we are going to dive right in. I'm going to tell you a couple stuff. Number one, there was a huge restock of goods today. So if there are things you have been waiting for. Um, so this came back in stock. The home um, of the brave came back in stock. The wherever you go came back in stock. Just a lot of stuff. Um, Pull up. Yes. So, pulley up. <laughs> well, yeah. um, also, wanted to let you guys know that um, we've been getting a lot of questions on Club Couture. Should I join? Should I not join? All that good jazz. So, let me go ahead and give you a quick, um, what I like to tell people, and then you guys can make up your mind on that. For those of you who do not know, we are with a company called Chalk Couture. We're an independent chalk designer, uh, or chalk, independent chalker, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, funny story about Chalk Couture is I joined it in a whim. A lot of things I do on a whim end up being like a thing. Like I bought a Glowforge on a whim. I joined Chalk Couture in a whim. Um, and... Chalk Couture is essentially we have a high-end home decor and it is super popular right now because essentially it is, um, think of it kind of back to the old days when you were making uh, t-shirts with silk screens. It's the same process but ours have adhesive on it mm -hmm. and that little bit of adhesive gives it the ability to not shift on you. So um, anytime I find a product that Sean's remotely interested in, usually um we both agree to do it and he loves chalk tour so uh most people when we first started i would tell people hey if you're gonna spend a hundred dollars or more in a three-month time period you might as well become a designer because you get 40 percent off everything and that's technically my stance still is um being a designer is the best way to belong to chalk tour couple of reasons why is you get the best discount, 40% off. You can actually get up to 60% off. Um, you get something called design dollars, which is for every $200 you spend, you get $20 the next month. You get the chance to earn trips, like we are going to Fiji, mm -hmm. which we're super excited for. And you get to belong to an amazing community. Um, so uh, people will say, well, what should I do? And I usually will tell people, if you know for sure you love the product, you play with the product, you're in it to win it. Um, joining our team is the best way. When you join our team, you get into our Facebook group. Um, you get training from us. You get the ability to use our video graphics, all of that good jazz, and we like to spoil our team. Um, if you're someone on the fence and you're like, gosh, I don't know. You look at the catalog and you say, gosh, everything's so expensive, you know, which I don't think it's expensive. You got to think outside. So when we normally think of a sign, let's say, you think of vinyl. So you're only going to be utilizing the board once because you're paying the vinyl. When you take it off, you ruin the vinyl. Our stuff is amazing because you can buy one, one board and change it out for the seasons. And our transfers, if you take care of them, minimum can be used eight to 12 times. But we've used, like our Darling transfer, we probably use now 50 times and it's still good to go. Um, but if you're someone that's like, you know, I just want to create pretty things. I'm not sure I want the requirements of a designer. 
um, you can become one of our Club Couture members. And Club Couture is a uh, happy, basically happy meal. It's a subscription box. Who doesn't like subscription boxes? I know my dogs love their bark box. So we love Club Couture. Club Couture, you get a B size transfer. In fact, I think we have one over here. Maybe not. Um, yep, it's right behind you. Uh, Club Couture, you get a B size transfer, three pace singles every month for $19.99. As a Club Couture member with Ken's Creations, you are going to get some exciting benefits. Benefit number one is you get access to our super secret deluxe amazing Facebook and YouTube community. In that page, we do um, a live every month where we create projects based around Club Couture. It's a wonderful live because it's like two hours. We just kick back, relax, have fun with it. And then we give away those projects mm -hmm. that we make. We've almost done 30, uh, three hours once. Yeah. Um, so super fun. I think it's this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Um, you also get Happy Meal from us. Mm -hmm. You get four ninety five flat rate shipping. So if you spend $600, $4.95 out the door. Um, and you get a healthy exclusive discount from Ken and Sean. So uh, I, if you're interested in Club Couture or the exclusive benefits, let me know. We are very blessed. We have over 150 club members and it keeps growing. And a lot of times we'll have a club member that uh, will start as a Club Couture member and then they join because they love it so much and they become a designer on our team. So, yes, that's true. Um, so yeah, so if you have questions on that, let us know. I have an actual question that's kind of interesting. Okay, one sec, Go just ahead. really quick. The last thing I wanted to say is if you want to try the product, you're not committed to Club Couture, you're not sure you want to be a designer, we have something called Try Me Kits. So Try Me Kits, um, we have three different ones on the website right now. And they come with the surface, they come with a transfer, and they come with uh, the paint singles, and you can make a completed project. So the Try Me Kits give you an ability to try it. This here is the called the Kickstarter Kit. So it's oh, a little different than the okay. Try Me Kit, but that's fine. Kickstarter Kits um, are just available this month. The Kickstarter Kit is basically, think of a Kickstarter as a way to start your interest in Chalk Couture. So it's kind of like the Try Me Kit, a little different. The biggest difference is the Kickstarter kits have exclusive transfers. So you cannot get those transfers outside of that. Um, what's going on, Sean? A new version just popped in. Okay, is that relative right nope. now? Oh, it did it by itself, sorry. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of it. sorry. Um, it's when he does that, it goes up on screen. I can't say everything. Um, so definitely try that. All right, what question did you have, Sean? Um, okay, you already answered it. Oh, okay, perfect. It says if she said, uh, it was from Kim. She says, how can we try Chocotur before we commit? Yep. So there you go. I personally, there are designers in the marketplace that do um, free kits. I do not do free kits. A couple of reasons. Number one, because I um, have tried it before and we get a ton of people. Like we'll send out a hundred Try Me kits and nobody um, will sign up. The other thing I've noticed, and this is super sad, is... I'm just going to be honest. There's a lot of people out there that just want free things. And unfortunately, um, we have a big enough team to realize like, hey, this person's asking from Try Me Kits from everybody. And so we've been burned so much. So our thing is, is we have the Try Me Kits online that you can purchase. Club Couture. There's a lot of different ways you can try it. I do believe in the magic of Chalk Couture is, is experiencing it and stuff. But uh, that's the best way to try it nice. and stuff. All right, so with that said, I do want to say one last thing. This cutie patootie is up right now. We are giving this away. Um, if you didn't see our live last night, we created this. This is um, a interchangeable sign. So we did have to modify it because I cut it a little short, but no problem. The nice thing is, is it's easily fixable. We actually just took a little bit of fabric glue and added some extra stuff here. So this way it, you don't even see it. So that way it extends it. But you can go from this to the one next to Sean there, the home, no place I'd rather be, and this magnet's here. So I do have the link down below. You can enter that. That will, uh, you have until tomorrow at 9 a.m. to enter this one. The project we're making today will go up tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, and this one will have a way for uh, people on YouTube because I not know not everyone's on Facebook. Also wanted to let you guys know if you are a Club Couture member, you automatically get an entry into this. In fact, one of our Club Couture members was a winner today. So they actually won um, out of uh, 
uh, everyone. So it was probably their little entry and stuff. So very fun. I love that project. It was a lot of fun to make that. We have two questions. All right. Let's let's dive right in. What are they, Tina Sean? Torres, how much is a Kickstarter kit? So um, I want to make sure you guys know the difference. So there is what Sean showed you is a Kickstarter uh, collection. Kickstarter is just essentially it's called a Kickstarter because they are an exclusive transfer. You can bring up those photos really quick. Mm -hmm. So those essentially are um, you can only get them this month. There's two different ones. This is a D size transfer. And then the other one is a uh, B size transfer with a frame, two pace singles and a squeegee. And those are on the website. The other one that I have, um, let me get you guys a link here, is uh, the Try Me Kit. And the Try Me Kits are actual, literally uh, projects planned out that are Try Me. So let me go ahead and give you all of this. Here you go. What? Nothing. I was gonna show we could go online to show it. Before. You can do whatever you want, Shawnee. Um, so uh, we need to give you the link or Sean could just show you how to do it. So we will show you how to do it. The other questions, if we want to join your club, do we just click the link? Yes, just make sure um, there are these wonderful things called cookies and cookies are basically on your um, desktop and they basically remember the last person you visited. So if you want to join our club couture, just make sure my little graphics in the upper right hand and it'll say Ken's creations. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's show you here really quick. So oh, let's share our desktop. Oh, desktop. And if you go to uh, the my website, which is chalkcouture.com slash Ken's creations. Um, that was hilarious. Sean just touched on his photo <laughs> to get there. Um, so let's go ahead and go to my shopping page, Sean, because yep. right yeah, now you're just showing them all that stuff. So go to the main page, actually hit Chalk Couture. Nope, over to the left where it says Chalk Couture, there you go. All right, so you can see up in the right hand corner is my photo and it says Ken's Creation. That means you are on our website. So first let me show you how to find those Kickstarters. So under shop, if you highlight over shop and you'll see over to the right hand side specials. If you click specials, this is gonna take you to our specials page. Special page is going to have a couple cool things on this page. Number one is the Kickstarter kit. So you have the uh, No Bad Days. You have the other two that I can't see because Sean has so many things up. So you have the Bold, Brave, and Brilliant. And you have one more down there, which is behind the comments, Sean. Can you just make that go away? Thank you. You have The Love Brings Us Home. Another cool thing on this website is over to the left-hand side, you'll see a Last Chance. The Last Chance um, is transfers that are going away so if these are something that you're in love with like that woven plaid i love it's one of my favorite backgrounds um these mean they are gonna retire soon and once they are retired they're gone so definitely check those out all right so there you go uh any other questions make sure they're in caps so sean can see it and that way we can we'll go back to here uh that way he can see them and we can answer them for you um and uh There'll be times when I say, Sean, do we have any questions? And we'll we'll answer your questions and stuff. So today we are making something super fun. I do want to apologize. <laughs> this transfer, I realize at the end is out of stock, but it is going to come back into stock. But I really wanted to make this and I think it is fun. So we are going to make a bathroom uh, decoration piece. So we'll go down to this camera here. So what we're going to use for this project is all chocotour surfaces. I'm going to move this camera here. Sorry for the shakiness. There we go. Um, so this here is our box frame. This is six and a half by 18 and a half. We have it double side. Sean's already put on a piece, um, but we might have to, I might have to redo we that. might have to do two here and you'll see why in a second. Um, so we're going to be utilizing this and then we have three, cute little palette frames. These are our five and a half by seven and a half. These are uh, really nice. Both of these surfaces are surfaces that you can use front and back. So purposely we do not put a logo on it and that way you can use this or you can use this here. So it's kind of fun. All right. I want to shout out to Kirby. She, uh, they're new. Oh, awesome. Very here, cool. Here Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So we're going to um, be utilizing the transfer Freshen up. Here's a transfer. It's a C size transfer, which means it's 12 by 18. And here's all the pieces. Now, the paste I'm going to be utilizing, I love to match 
the frame color, which is right here. Um, but we don't have a piece that matches that, but you can create it. And I will tell you how. Very easy. Here is the piece that I created. You can see it's almost a perfect match. And all you need to do is equal parts. You're going to start with storm, brown, and then a little black. So I guess that's not equal parts. So I would say two little um, uh, teaspoons of this, two teaspoons, and a one teaspoon of that um, and I would start very minimal on black and add to darken it up but then you'll see you get this really nice color that is almost a perfect match to this and this is why I keep my empties all right so we're gonna start with the freshen up the top and this is gonna be this piece right here now I will let you guys know these are obviously a wood product. It's got a nice wood pattern in that. A couple things to keep in mind. Number one is this is not an actual wood grain. This is kind of painted on. So when you utilize our transfers on that, you're going to want to fuzz it. If you don't fuzz it, you might actually pull up a little bit of that transfer, which I can show you how to actually um, get rid of that. But you want to make sure you fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. And we do have these fuzzing cloths. So um, you want to do that. Now, these are a one-time use, and what I mean by that is once we actually put something down, you really can't just wash it off. You can, however, repaint it, which we do all the time. So these are one of the few things in our surfaces that are a one-time use. We do not um, wax them uh, on what line. It will say a lot of people will say they have to wax these. We don't, uh, and we've never had an issue with that. However, I always tell people to um, test it out before you do it. Mm -hmm. We find that people that live in high humidity might have to wax. Yes. So we're just going to make sure that this is nice and centered, which right about there. And then I just run my hands over it to make sure there's no ripples or bubbles. And I'm going to grab the paste that I made. And let's just do this. I'm going to use our small squeegee. Now, a lot of people will say, do I have to use your squeegees? And the answer technically is no. However, you want to be careful not to use anything that it has. It needs to have a little bit of flexibility to it. And these silicon squeegees have that. Because if not, even though you don't see it, these actually are pieces of fabric. And they have a very... Um, tightly woven mesh. Kind of think of the shears or drapes you might have in your windows. We have those and because of that you do not want anything that could possibly tear that because then it doesn't work and you want that mesh because when our Chalkology paste or our Chalkology ink hits that it evenly distributes them all in there. So think of kind of a strainer I guess in a way um, and you really want that. So we're just gonna pick up this and voila. Okay. So here is the color. And what I like about this is if you don't um, do a mix, like if you don't mix it really, really, really well, sometimes some of the colors will, um, like you'll see a little bit of black and brown here. We'll use a paintbrush to fix that. I'm gonna turn this on to dry. All right, so what I was saying is sometimes if you don't mix it really good, unfortunately, if you have a little bit of a color hit just right, you can see right there I have brown and I have some black. And that's okay. Um, it's not like game over. We're just going to grab a fine tip paint brush and just dab a little bit into it. And some people like that look, uh, that nice distressed look. Normally, I would leave it and add some more. But um, because this is going to be a giveaway and someone's going to be able to win it tomorrow, we want to make sure it looks all perfect. But it is a perfect match to the frame, which is very exciting stuff. All right. Sean had to grab another uh, board eraser. That's what we use to clean our transfers, and we are all 
out in our sink. So he is grabbing that so we can clean the transfer. We do clean our transfers right away. You'll have some designers say that they don't. It is a personal preference, but um, I firmly believe if you clean your transfers right away, you're going to get way more use out of it. So let's dry this really quick. All right, so that one is all done. Now, because of our little oopsie doodly of um, that color, we're gonna make sure this is stirred. And you can kind of see where I didn't do a fantastic job stirring. There's, you can see a little bit of the lighter color in there. So I'm just gonna stir it to make sure we don't have that problem again. Um, and if I need to make more, we can, but look at that. It's, a, it's almost a perfect match to the frame. I love it. So we'll put this off to the side. And these are our next three pieces. So we have one that says, hello, sweet cheeks. One that says fresh soap and water. And then the other one says hand towels for free. So I'm gonna want this and this and the hello in the middle. Other than that, it doesn't uh, necessarily matter how you want to uh, display. You could do it all sorts of ways. Um, this has also been very popular as a standalone. And what I mean by that is a lot of people have created projects just with the Hello Sweet Cheeks. That's actually probably what has made this set so popular. This is something that Jasmine actually did. She took, um, we got these wood frames at Michael's. She painted it with some of our chalk paint, white, and then she just used black. So super easy breezy. Once again, we're going to uh, make sure we fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. This is a palette, but it is, uh, this here is just a finish on it. So if you don't fuzz it, sometimes it can pick up that finish. Um, I don't know if the last one did or not, but if it does, it does. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. perfect. Have it all. So we're going to put this one right, right about there, I think. I think I have an ear infection, everyone. A little bit of a fever, which I will tell you, in COVID land, whew, nowadays, if you start feeling like you have a fever, your heart little, literally kind of drops, and you're like, oh my gosh, do I have COVID? Do I? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and then make sure that this is straight. And so this is kind of a cool little tool I got here. But what I like about it is I can actually line it right up with this and make sure we are straight, which it looks like we are. Perfect. All right. Let me go ahead, grab our squeegee. And we're using the same color because it will match that frame. It'll be a real nice look. Voila. So cute. So we'll grab this next two so we can. The one thing I forgot to do that we want to make sure is um, it's kind of nice to mark the back of these so you know which one goes to which. So when you are putting them back, you know exactly. Oh, this is our the hand towels. This is the soap, the sweet cheeks. Um, because sometimes your transfers can shrink a little, especially if you wash them over and over again. And then if they don't line up, you're very sad. All right, here we go. Just going to, let me hit this one with a little bit of dryer. And a little bit of a black streak on here. So just quickly. Got a great question. Uh, yeah. Joanne Irwin says, I got the large trimming kit coming. Will I need to need a defuzzy cloth? Um, 
You can use a normal terry cloth from home. Are your hands all wet? Because this is yeah. all wet now. Oh, right. Be careful. Um, it's okay. You can just use a normal bath towel. Terry cloth style works just as well. The, the only thing I will caution on, and yes, Sean is right, it is. Um, we used to use uh, bath towels or hand towels. Just make sure you have one that doesn't um, release little hairs. So we had a towel one time that um, it would spew all these little white strings all over it. And not that they won't come off. It's just kind of a pain. A pain. So, so our pheasant cloth is very reasonable and I love it. It's one side has uh, a nice um, terry cloth and one's got kind of a really nice... Uh, What's the other side? Terry cloth and, and uh, microfiber. Microfiber, that's yeah. right. Microfiber is best for for drying, not to defuzz. Because microfiber does not release anything. All right, we just got one last one, so we will do that. And I just put them up next to each other, kind of like this, just so I can get them nice and centered. Um, Cause we like things to be nice and centered, right? So let's go ahead. I think this is so exciting. Even though my stomach kind of hurts a little, we're having street tacos tonight and Sean makes the best street tacos. Well, I have to say, Trader Joe's has the best meat for street tacos. Oh yeah, I would but... like to. I would like to try my own uh, marinade to see if it, how good I can come to. But why, when we have one that's so good? How's my job searching? I'm not searching for a job right at this time. And Nori, you're asking what color are we using? This is a combination of, of customized. Go. We used bark, storm. In black, we did two, two, and one. Yeah, I would do two, two, and then slowly add the black till you get to the right color. Because you, it's really hard if you go too far in black to go back. That sounded way worse than it was, but it truly is. If you mm -hmm. put too much black, it will darken up. So yeah, good. here you go, Shani. Yeah. All right, so now uh, we're going to be doing a couple of different things. The first thing I'm going to do is grab some twine and um, we're going to put a little bit of twine on this upper part right here. And I'm going to use the twine doubled up. So I need enough basically to go from here. So double that bad thing up. Right so about one little white piece come off of that one. What? Uh, off the board. Oh, good. Just one little tiny line. Can barely good, good, it. good. All right. So here's our twine. And now I can just cut this because I want this in kind of two small pieces. And it's going to go right here. And that is where we will use our staple. And yesterday we were doing a pretty hard piece of wood and we probably don't need it that hard. So I'm just gonna bring this about halfway down and you can move this up and down on how uh, hard the wood is. So that way uh, you can get through harder pieces of wood. Now what I like to do is I like to use my placement tape and do this. And Sean was just about to interrupt me on a question. So go ahead, Johnny. Uh, Joanne asks, just open water to clean transfer? No, just water. And a uh, dry erase, dry eraser that we have. You don't want to use one that's got- Dry smoke. eraser? Dry board erase, dry board eraser. They're just called board erasers. Board erasers. You're confusing dry erase board. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. But yeah. Um, and you don't want to use, a lot of people will go get the Mr. Clean. You do not want that. Mr. Cleans have detergents in them. Our board erasers do not have detergents in them. All right. So uh, we're going to put one piece of staple right here. And then 
I'm gonna put actually two staples and then we're going to make sure it is pulled nice and taut. And then that way um, we know. Robin, I'm surprised you do not know what street tacos are because it is the bomb. So what was Robin's question? Her question is. I'm trying to train Sean because yes. during the replay, people are like, we have no idea what Sean's talking about because sometimes the, um, just so you guys know, I don't know what's going on, but our live chat replays are not posting. So it's really hard to follow along sometimes in the conversation because people are like, what is he talking about? And So what's, what's her comment? She says, what are street tacos? Oh, they're so good. Um, and then Karen answered them, but um, most people do corn. We do not. We use flour. I'm not a big, we're not big corn. Corn tortilla. Corn yeah. tortillas unless it's fried. Um, I don't know if you guys, anyone else has seen uh, YouTube not posting the live chat replay, but it's kind of annoying because... You know, we really interact a lot during our lives and mm -hmm. people, a lot of comments have been coming through saying like, we have no idea what you're talking about. And I say, well, check out our live chat. And they're like, there is no live chat, which I think it has to do with our um, service we use called Restream. We did find out that's why it was also posting multiple, multiple comments. Yeah. And we don't use chicken or pork. We use beef. From Trader Joe's. From Trader Joe's. The carne asada. It is the best. If you have one, get it. It's the best ever. Right now, Sean found mm -hmm. this out and he is correct. They um, have the deal going again. So for yes. um, $99, you can get two batteries, Ryobi One batteries. And if you do that, you get a free tool, and one of those tools just happens to be the glue gun. And I think, or, this, one, I yeah. think this one too. But the glue gun for sure, which that's what started my whole Ryobi One obsession. Hmm. Um, Christina Herring, Sean, did you say you used a dry erase? <laughs> eraser dry. Boy, eraser dry. That's not what I meant. I'm using one. He's, he's inventing his own products. I and know. It, it's so funny because I always have to remind him that your words are powerful and people will literally now for a week be like, I heard Sean say something about dry race. Does Chaka Tora something new? And I'm like, no. And he's like, oh, I, it was a simple mistake. And I'm like, I know it was. It's just, just people just hang on to your every word, Sean. And when we make our dry erase, that was so funny. You know what? He has come a long way. In the beginning, he w didn't even want to freaking talk during a live chat. He yeah. would point to the comments and basically tell me to answer it. This is what he used to do. And then I would read it and in time he came around, so he's come a long way. How heavy is the staple gun, Miss Diana asks. With, depending on the size of the battery, because this is the bigger battery, a three amp, I'd say it's probably, Five, six pounds. Not bad. Not bad. It's a lot lighter than the nail gun. Yeah, the nail gun's much heavier. But the nail gun is pretty awesome. And pretty powerful, yeah. Jenny states, I love chorizo. It's very good, yes. What's chorizo? It is a kind of a pork sausage. You would not. It is spicy. Oh, I know, like it is spice. I like it with my chorizo con huevos. Oh, wee wee. Oh, huevos con chorizo. Mm, so good. All right, so we have all of our twine. So I'm going to put our twine away. Now we get our twine at Home Depot in the aisle that has like tarps and rope and things to secure the load of like when you're um, doing stuff. Uh, and it's just a thicker twine and I like it. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, grab this and we're actually going to... Um, oh, you got a mark for you. Oh, thanks. So this is the uh, Ryobi One brushless drill. Better. Sean has a drill bit, and what we're going to be doing is putting little drill bits because I'll show you here in a sec. Now, I'm going to explain. You see, I used some tape right there. That's how far he needs to go down. So as soon as that top hits the board, that's as far as it needs to go. Can you explain what brushless is? Because I don't, I didn't know on, what it was either. On these motors, the motors that are, are you sure that's machines, centered? It is, yes. Really? Is it's this not centered? It, it is. 
It's, this is 10 inches because it's 20 inches wide and that's 10. I'm going to check you sure. just to be that's sure. Fine. That's totally fine. Right. It's a little short of 20. Is that okay? Yeah, which is why it's short of 10. I you have it right on 10. Oh, okay. But that's okay. Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Sean. What, what's brushless? So the motor itself, um, the way that it usually is is that you have magnets, electricity, and it rotates. And there's these brushes that kind of uh, go on the part of the motor. They have removed these brushes because they found them to be better without the brushes, so much better. So a lot of the newer... Um, I had no idea what brushes and all yeah, that stuff was. So, yeah. Yeah. so we are going to grab these. These are just little eyelets. You can see them. Eyelet screws. Screws. And the reason we did that drill is it makes it a lot easier to screw this in. If you don't, you're spending a lot of time with it falling down and you not. And this wood's pretty soft, so you won't have to do too much. But we like to just start that um, little bit of drill because it'll make it a lot easier. And because uh my hands go numb very easy anything to make that process easier Leah Perone has an interesting question i've okay heard of this. she says is this true i heard instead of spending 250 every three months now it is only 150 every three months so um the reason why there's a little confusion on that is in order to stay as an active designer we spend 150 PV per quarter. So when we say 150 PV, that means our technically currency. But basically what that means is because we get everything at wholesale uh, prices at 40% off, it's after that. Mm -hmm. So we have to spend at least $150. If you're in the US, 150 PV every quarter to stay active. So if you were to actually spend it in retail it would be closer to that 250 mark so right now though because of our current world situation they have reduced the month or the quarterly requirements for quarter one and quarter two technically um down to 100 to help people out all right so we have all three there look one two three and these you can also get at different places i actually get them at ikea when we're there they're just like little um danglies they have a hook here and then they pinch here so this will end up clipping onto this and this is why i wanted it taunt because i want it to hold on but i also yeah. don't want so much give that it's drooping so we're just going to put that in the center and this is where sean's going to tie it out because we only have one hanger here um, and depending on how heavy because these are a little on the heavy side yeah, they're wood so um, we will see if we need to add another I'll take this one off put it off to the side and have it more on the ends versus the center mm -hmm. all right so we have all three I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way and then literally we just need to so this will be right here i got it thank you though i appreciate that you got questions so these are um the perfect size for it to fit in here but if you wanted to all you'd have to do is take some pliers and make them a little uh open up if you want to and if you couldn't find these you can do two eyelets one on each end and then use an s hook Mm -hmm. on both sides and that would work just as well too yeah and um you could technically hang it with twine sure if you wanted to kind of go i wanted to add a little bit of metal on there and so it worked out so once that's on you have how cute is that so look at that you guys oh so let me show you on the camera up front and then once it's on a wall, how cute will that be? <gasps> Isn't that cute? Love it. And you can, um, do you want to hold it really quick? Sure. So if it is not centered, it's really nice because this twine, you can move it up and down if you wanted. So all you would have to do is kind of, you know, move it around and stuff. 
Uh, so if you were afraid that it wasn't going to be centered perfectly and stuff. So look at that. I love it. Let's go back down to this camera so you guys can see it. And what's really cool is because both of these are the native surface of Chocotour, that they match perfect. Like this matches this perfectly. So that's why I wanted the um, paste, the custom paste color to match perfect too because I wanted it all to match. So look at that. See how easy and quick this one was? I love it. I love it. What do you think, Shawnee? I love this piece. This is it's awesome. so cute, huh? So yeah, cute. Awesome. Let's go back up, up here to show everyone um, how cute. Look at it. Super easy. And as a designer, just to let you guys know, as a designer, because we get 40%, I just want to, let's do a little math here. So where's my, do I have my phone? Nope, right here. So just to show you guys, Sometimes I think people look at Chalk Tour and say, oh, it's kind of expensive, but not really if you're a designer because this here, which is the box frame, is $19.99 retail US. These are um, the five and a half by seven and a half. So these are $9.99 US. So that's basically, let's just round it up for easiness. So that's 20 and this is 30. But then we get 40% off. So what I'm only paying, so for $30, I was able to make this as a designer because of our discount. And this you could sell for more than $30. Oh, yeah. But yeah. if you were to buy that at even like Home Goods or a discount retail store, you're looking at easily 50 or more. Oh, yeah. And this was made. And, and how fun is that? So mm -hmm. um, there you go. So super easy project today. I wanted to keep it short just because... Um, I had a little bit of a tummy ache and stuff. A little earache. And a little, little earache. And, low um, grade. Low grade, Sean says. Which is 100. 100 point 90, 90, 99 to 100 point yeah. something is low grade. It's definitely an ear infection, I think, because I can feel the pain here and the hot and it hurts. And anytime I put a Q-tip in there, it hurts. And we used uh, two remedies. We did. The first one was... Um, I don't think the first one worked, but apple, apple, cider. apple cider. But the second one was doTERRA oils. Doterra Lavender, oils. basil, and, and tea tree. tree. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, so um, super, super fun. This will go up tomorrow at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. So for the people on Facebook, you can still enter on Facebook. My good friends on YouTube, I'm speaking to you, Miss Janet. Um, I'm going to be posting on YouTube a entry form, and that manually adds comments. I found a really cool system that will actually combine my YouTube comments and Facebook comments and make it all one. So what you want to look for is on my youtube page mm -hmm. tomorrow we post something on what's called the community tab so on our our page if you were to go to our channel which i should be able to show you sure. on our desktop one second i'll get that for you already so how do you enter so tomorrow on facebook you'll just look for the post at 9 a.m and there'll be instructions oh, go. um go so for example right now let me go ahead and show you um on my Facebook uh, page, which is the this page, the Ken's Creations Chalk Couture uh, page, basically you'll look for the post that will say, it usually says win me or enter to win or um, act now before, you know, so you'll scroll all the way down. So the one that you still have until tomorrow at 9 a.m. is this one. So it says enter to win and it gives you all of your instructions. So on YouTube though, what we're gonna, I want you guys to see is when you go to YouTube and you look up our Chalk Couture page, so Chalk Couture, Ken's Creations, there is a tab on our channel that says community. And a lot of people miss it, but it's right here. And this is kind of like a Facebook wall and it will tell you exactly how to enter it. So I will have something that looks like this and it will say, leave a comment here, and you'll leave a comment, and it combines those with it. So that's how you'll be able to enter tomorrow on um, on YouTube stuff. So, and then of course, we will be back tomorrow. Um, just one sec, guys, we'll be Sorry, right I back. I actually have to be on that for That's hours. okay. Uh, we will be back tomorrow to do a, another project at about 6.30 tomorrow. It will be our last project of our week long of lives. It will give you a heads up this weekend for my Club Couture members. We are going to be doing our lives, so be on the lookout for that email. And then the next weekend, which will be 
Um, I think the last weekend in June, that will be our um, auction that we start yes. getting rid of pieces because next new month catalog. is new catalog. So I need to get rid of artwork and it's my favorite catalog and I cannot wait. Um, so yay, new, uh, new paste colors, new transfers, hopefully new surfaces. I just cannot wait. It's my favorite catalog uh -huh. we get every year. The only bummer is it's usually even better because it's released at Chalkon, which is a celebration and a party, and it's so overproduced in a good way. And we still have it, and it will still be great, but it won't be the same, won't not be, be same. in person and stuff. It'll be so. better next. It'll be, it we'll have be. it next year. Yeah. So um, I did, uh, Dion? Uh, Dion. Dion, sorry. Um, uh, she says use peroxide. I did use hydrogen peroxide yesterday, and I love that feeling because it bubbles and goes... Um, so I just need to, um, you know, if it's, an, I do have antibiotics in start, but I hate antibiotics if I don't have to take them. So we'll see, um, and stuff. So, um, last thing before we leave, you bring up a great point, Jamie, and she's excited for the new changes. So for those of you who do not know, um, which you should by now, because I've said it in every live, but we are, uh, going through a brand change. So Ken's Creations YouTube channel is going to be changing to Ken's Beautiful Crazy Life. Um, and the reason that's important for you is it is going to be incorporated into Chalk Couture for surface prep. So essentially on the other channel, we will have part ones where we can show you the Glowforge, how we painted surfaces. Um, there's been hints on maybe there might be a recipe, how to do a shiplap wall, how to lots of stuff. Um, so you want to make sure you're being on the lookout for that because there will be a lot of part one, part two. For example, I'll show you one. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to do this real fast. So this is something Sean and Jazzy did. Give me one second. I was going to show them. It's this, that, that's not it. That's Ken's Creations. Yeah, so this is the one. That will get updated. This is one, so this, if you are subscribed to this one. You're good. You're good. So you're good to good go. To go. All, All right, right. so for example, when we start launching that new channel, um, or the existing channel, just the brand change, this will be one of the first videos that gets posted. So part one is literally, we'll show you guys how Sean painted the Sewell. Part two will show you how Jazzy did the yeah. chocotour on the top. Mm -hmm. So it's stuff like this. This was actually a stool that was pretty broken down. We weren't utilizing it. And I told Sean and Jasmine to go wild and do anything they want in these videos. And I came down and he was sanding this and <laughs> painting it. Isn't it gorgeous? That took a while to sand because you used a, a high gloss something or another. And man, it took a while to get down. I I think that's how they came. No, no, you painted them green. Oh, that's right. When we lived in our first apartment, our first apartment, second yeah. apartment technically. Yeah. So yeah. this will be one of the videos. So it would be like a part one, part two to show you uh, this and stuff. So, ooh, very cool, Michelle. I like that. Her husband is excited for our new channel. Oh, cool! And he's not a crafter. So that's so cool. cool. I'm excited for it too. I'm scared, nervous, excited, um, but it's it's something uh that i've wanted to do for a while now and stuff mm -hmm. so all right so this will be up like i said again tomorrow uh you want to look for the post on facebook or youtube to enter you have 24 hours to enter don't forget you have until 9 a.m tomorrow mm -hmm. to enter for the other giveaway we have which is this one which is the interchangeable uh board or there's no place like home and then you can change it out with the 4th of July theme. I would like, and then, like to say hello to Kate. Hello. Our mail lady. You guys. Hi, Kate. Our most favorite person. So is. Kate is our mail lady. And not only is she the best, she but she's best. so nice. Sean came in today um, and we had some club couture and team incentives that went out. And she's so great. She'll even say, hey, it, are these ones that need to turn around right away so you can put a label on it and get them right away so your customers get them sooner? So for people that say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you got your package so quick, 
because of her. She's amazing. Thanks, Kate. For She's coming. so awesome. So um, I'm glad you're here. Every time we post a photo to Facebook, they, everyone says, oh, you're a poor male person. Um, but we are and lucky. Her answer is, it's, that's my job. My yes. Job. And it's, it's not just her, actually. We have um, other male people yeah, that will help, and they're still, always really super nice. Yeah, everybody's really always nice. Always super nice and stuff. So anyway, she is awesome. Um, all right. We will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Who won the Wherever You Roam? Janet, that was uh, Linda Vale won that. Um, yeah. So, uh, which, that was a beautiful piece. That was really nice. Uh, so, uh, yeah. All right. So, we will see you all tomorrow. We adore you to pieces. We love you, Kate. Love You're you, awesome. Kate. Mm -hmm. Say hello to Mrs. and everyone else. And see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.